Hello, all you lovely Tumblr YouTube people. It is Jordan here again for another video. I'm known as Live Life in the Saddle on Tumblr, as always with those hyphen things, you know. Yeah. Um, sorry I didn't get a video last week. I didn't feel the best, and it was sort of a designated Jordan Yash day thing. We just talk all day. Sorry, the lighting's crappy. Uh, it's dark outside. My light is right there, but it's a really sucky light, and I'm too lazy to go and find that, like, little spot where it's just perfect. So, sorry. Okay, let's get down to business. Uh, so my video this week is going to be on whether or not you should tie a horse in a trailer when you're trailing or trailering a horse. I'm sorry, I can't talk. Um, anyways. So... Let's see. Now this is my opinion. This is what I do. You can do differently. It all depends on the horse like every other thing. I may tell you one thing, but if you know it won't work with your horse, don't do it. Because let's just be smart here. Not saying that you're not. You're smart. In your own way. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see. Okay, so... Let me gather my thoughts. Yes. Okay, so it all depends on the horse on whether or not you tie it while you're trailering. Like, sorry, little sister's being weird. I get so distracted during these videos, I apologize. Anyways, so the way my father and I do it is if the horse is used to being trailered, then it is tied when it's trailered, because otherwise it'll just... No. See, when he was a kid, he used to go around and do all these shows, you know? He had, like, paints, and they were the best around here. You could not beat my family. But, um, so, their horses, they would always trailer, or they would always tie them when they trailered because they were used to traveling around. But, when we have, like, yearlings or weanlings that we're going and trailering, we do not tie them. Or if it's a horse and we're going and we don't know how they'll act in a trailer, we don't tie them. Because they horses will naturally, in a trailer, they'll plant their feet. And they will not move while the trailer's moving. It's just, I don't know. You can actually, if you haven't trailered a horse before, you probably don't know this. But if you do, you can normally probably feel them moving around in the trailer, right? Well... I don't know, with the trailer we use, we can't. It all depends on your trailer, I think. I don't know. But, yeah. We can normally feel our horses moving around in the trailer when we're stopped. And when we move, they plant their feet and they don't move. It's, they gotta keep their balance. It's, that's just what they do. So, if it is a horse where you don't know how they'll act, you, tie, you don't tie them. And if they're young, you don't tie them. Um, and if they do know, if they've been in trailers before, if you know they act good in trailers, tie them. But don't just tie them anyways. Don't be, don't be stupid. Excuse, use an escape knot or a quick release knot or whatever you call it. I can't remember what you call it. It, yeah. If you don't know how to tie it, learn to tie it because it's something you really need to know. Um, I guess, uh... I'll tell you some cases where we go in trailer horses and what we do with certain horses and stuff. But first, I have a question for you. <laughs> okay, hang on. Hey. Hey. So I have a question for you today. Yes. <laughs> and you're not going to know the answer, which will be really funny. Am I really though? So... When you're trailering a horse, do you tie it? <laughs> huh? Can I ask for audience poll? <laughs> this is just something I'm asking you. This is what my video's on. So what do you think? Do you or do you not? <laughs> no. No? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> huh? I mean, 
If it's going to be in the trailer, it's in the trailer, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but what about it when you're getting the horse out? What about if it, like, runs at you? Because you don't have a tide, huh? <laughs> what do you do? Uh, you pray to God, just be like... I believe Wait, did you I'm just Superman. say you pray to God? But I mean, obviously the cookie Jesus, because like a big shield of cookie would just stop it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. So, you don't tie it because it's in a trailer. Is that what you're saying? I don't even know. It can't go mean. nowhere? <laughs> I mean, it can't go nowhere if you tie it. You may as well tie it, but then like... You but you, you just said you don't it. tie it. <laughs> But then, but then it'll be mad at you for tying it. <laughs> be like, girl, 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 that's my freedom. You just took away my freedom. <laughs> they don't charge you anyway. Oh, really? So either way, you're just dead. <laughs> either way, I'm just dead? <laughs> oh, <Yo. laughs> <Well>, crap. <laughs> I didn't want to die today. I, 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 well, <laughs> wrong profession, I guess. <laughs> I must be in the wrong profession. What do you suggest I do? Um, what, I pro- tra- what profession should I be in? What? Yeah, back and forth. What? What? Just trailers and cookies back and forth. You don't have to tie them up or anything, and they won't get mad at you either. <laughs> Why won't they get mad at me? Because they love being tied up, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'm done with you now. What? What did I do? <laughs> nothing. What? Why you nothing at all. Okay, <laughs> so you say you should not <laughs> tie a horse in a trailer. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> what do you think that I said? I don't know what I said. Do you know what you said? You know what <laughs> That's what you said. Know. You said you shouldn't, but then you said if you do, they'll get mad at you, and I should just trailer some cookies instead. <laughs> Quit typing and talk. What's that? What's that? What's that? Okay, then you're on. Bye bye. Bye. No, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> See you later. I, I would say actually yes. Yes. Because tie a horse. If you if you tie it, and then it's mad at you, you can just keep it tied. <laughs> but what about if it's never been in a trailer before and it need it like sucks at being tied? Um. Well, <laughs> let's. Don't take it that way. <laughs> it, it, it's lived a very healthy lifestyle. <laughs> okay, you're done. You're gone. What? What did I do? Nothing, but I need to finish this video. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Just... <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, he... It's a running joke that he's a cookie. He knows nothing about horses. That's why this is all so funny. Don't listen to anything he says. <laughs> Just don't do it. Um, He feels special when he is in these videos, so I let him be in them. Yeah. Anyways. So, sometimes, or like, some cases are where we have weanlings like when... Oh, some... Oh, yes. Okay, so when we got Lady, um, Lacey and Lady, and Lucy, I'm sorry. When we had Lucy and her yearling Lady and then her weanling Lacey, yeah, I know. Um, we, when we got them, we did not tie them because, A, it was a weanling and a yearling and we weren't sure how they'd act in a trailer because they'd never been in one before, and B, we didn't know how any of them would act in a trailer. So, we did not tie them. Another case is when we took... Okay, so we sold Gus, Lucy, um, Sugar, and then My Horse Jazzy. We sold them. And we did... We knew Lucy and Jazzy would be okay in a trailer. We weren't sure how Gus would act because I was the only one down there when he came. And he was just like... He was scared and he was confused and so he didn't want to come out of the trailer so he had a big problem with that. So we didn't know how he would act because that was the next time he would go in a trailer. And Sugar is just, she was a spitfire. No one knew what would happen with her. But, so what we did is we got 
Lucy in the trailer, and we tied her in. We were originally going to tie Jazzy in, but I was having some issues grabbing her because she'd go outside, and then she'd, like, I'd get her inside, and she'd run back outside, and just, yeah. Big mess. She didn't want to go. Anyways, so we got Lucy in there, and we tied her, and she was actually being a really big brat, and she did not want to be tied either, but... We got her tied, because we knew she could be tied. She was just acting stubborn. She didn't understand what was happening, really. She didn't want to go. And so we got her in, and then I got Jazzy inside and kept her inside. Um, so we got her in there, and then we got Gus and Sugar. And really what we did is we just... Dad had the two carrot sticks, you know, and he just, like, tapped their butts and just urged them on. He didn't do anything... To, like, sort of force them on, you know? He just, like, tapped their butts like, Okay, guys, you gotta get on now. And they just hopped up on uni in unison. It was really cute. But anyways, we got them all in, and then we took them to the new place. It's kind of funny, because when we got there, then... <laughs> so, we had Lucy in the way back, or, like, in the way front of the trailer, I mean. Closest to the truck. And by the time we got them out, Gus was crammed in that little corner, like... And, cause, you know, it was, um, it was a rounded trailer. So it was, like, round like this, you know? And, like, Lucy was, like, right there, and then Gus was crammed in this little space right here. I'm really bad at describing things. I'm sorry. But, yeah. That's another case. And then, when we originally got the horses, like, when we got, who did we have in that trailer we had? Jazzy, Kizzy, Ladybug, and Bandit. Yeah. Um, we had those four in a trailer. And they're pretty large horses. And so we didn't tie those horses in. Actually, the people didn't tie them in. It wasn't us. Because there was four decent-sized horses, adult horses. Ladybug was massive, okay? She had this huge stomach on her. It's just like... They were just like, no, we're not going to tie him. We're just going to hurt him in and then we'll just hurt him out, you know. Because they knew we had a little pen set up for him. So, yeah. And that's another thing. If you know you're going to have to walk your horse, then, my God, go and put a lead on it first. Or have a halter on it and just, like, have it ready. You know, because if you know your horse is going to be stubborn and not want and, like, put up a fit in the trailer... And you know you're not going to be able to go and, like, just easily hook a lead on or put the halter on, hook a lead on, and then go. <laughs> then maybe you should consider tying your horse. Because I know that's happened with my, one of my horses before. It was really funny. I'm standing there with the mini just, like, holding the trailer door open. And I can just hear stomping and stomping and stomping because Sonya didn't want to come out of the trailer. <laughs> it was funny, but. Okay, I think that's it for today. I will see you guys all next time. Next week, I apologize again for not getting my video up last week. I will do that sometime. Uh, I didn't go. I can't remember what topic I was going to do last week. But I'll get to it sometime. Yeah. Again, sorry for the bad lighting. I apologize. I hope Yash cause gives you some amusement as he does me. Um... I will see you guys all next week. I am out of here.